Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about the baseline architecture of Azure Pipeline. All right, so this is one of the requests which I got from most people who asked me to explain the end-to-end -end process of a Azure Pipeline with a real-world example. All right, so here we go. First, we have a developer. Okay, a developer is someone who writes a piece of code or a software. All right, so as soon as he or she writes the code, it will be deposit it will be stored in the repository or version control of your choice which is which can be uh, github gitlab or azure devops integrated with git etc and then comes the pr part pull request so as soon as a developer writes a code and if he or she wants to check that code into developer main branch you will raise a pull request okay in case if you are not sure what pull requests are please watch one of my previous videos where i have covered detailed explanation about pull request all right so you raise a pull request you get it reviewed and approved from the tech lead or any architect team or any any lead from your team all right so finally not finally and then you have a um, ca continuous integration process where the ca part is actually set up in a yaml okay so you write a uh, yaml code to actually perform all this continuous integration activity so what usually happens here is um, it compiles the code it will write pub run the unit test and finally publish the artifacts okay you perform a series of steps here that's something which i have again widely discussed in my previous videos uh, especially with in the in the yaml all right um, and then we have something called uh, release pipeline where continuous delivery is actually happening. So what happens here is you download the artifacts, you deploy it to the, uh, you deploy the application or a piece of code to the staging or a development environment. Okay, here we have only two uh, environments: one is staging and production. Ideally, in real world, it can be many depending on the environment you are working on. In few cases, it will be uh, development. QA, pre-production, UAT, etc. and finally into production. All right. So as soon as you deploy, finally um, you will go to the Azure Monitor um, application insights, log analytics workspace, which will actually help you track the um, Azure uh, you know, telemetry. Uh, you app insights actually collects the telemetry from your app, um, and it will send data to Azure Monitor. Uh, the data is stored in the log analytics workspace you can okay you can query and analyze the logs from these these areas okay so this is where this is a end-to-end -end, um, uh, life cycle of this azure pipeline all right uh, but if i have to explain this in a simple one-liner word in a technical term okay what happens is a developer pushes the code as soon as the code is pushed it will trigger the CA pipeline. This is the important part. Okay, as soon as the developer pushes the code, it will trigger the CA pipeline. So what happens here is, okay, what happens in the CA part is, Azure DevOps uses a hosted agent like a VM to run the pipeline. All right, it will build and test any code. It can be a .NET code or it can be a Python code or you performed, you written a web code, web for, you written a React code for web development any piece of code will be built and tested here and finally it will be published as an artifact okay you i have already covered a video about azure artifacts how do you publish and how do you download um, so uh, you can watch this uh, you can watch that video in case in case if you have any queries now continuing on um, finally as i said it will publish it, uh, the as soon as you build and test the code it will be published as an artifact called drop by default the name is called drop but you can give a uh, any name of your choice while you build an artifact okay and then you can create a deployment uh, pipeline as well all right it can you can either it can be either through yaml or through uh, ui using a classic editor all right so what happens is as soon as you are um, happy with all the uh, steps uh, that is happened in continuous integration you can uh, you can download the artifacts and then deploy it to the staging or development environment here in this case it is staging in real time it might be uh, something different for everyone it can be the development it can be uh, qa it can be pre-production uat etc okay finally you will do a 
deployment to production once the approval is provided manually as soon as the approval is provided finally you go to azure monitor application insights log analytics okay this this is something i already covered all right so uh, in one line if i if i, uh, I the reason i'm iterating again is because uh, many people said it is very confusing so i'm again giving an one liner developer pushes the code azure devops builds and test the app once it is successful it will be automatically deployed to development and after manual approval it goes into production as well all right so this is an one liner about the azure pipeline architecture cycle all right now let's compare it with a real world example okay so let's say you are running a supermarket and you want to introduce a new product into a supermarket okay so you generate an idea say you want to introduce a chips okay so what you do is you come up with the idea called chips that's what you do here and then you inspect and test the products okay so you um, look at the size color texture taste of the chips in this particular step and then once you are happy you approve and package the product okay once you approve and package the product you will send it to the nearby trial store for auditor uh, for trial purposes all right and then once the manager approves okay once the manager approves for the wider release it will be distributed to all branches across your place okay this is a very layman example i can provide you to explain a process of introducing a new product in the supermarket all right i hope you agree with these steps similarly if you want to compare this process with the azure devops pipeline uh, process you can compare it here again so here you come up with a new idea called chips to introduce a new product called chips here you write a new piece of code or a feature and this will be published to repo then here in supermarket process you inspect and test the product where else in the azure devops product you run and build the unit tests okay you can, you perform set of tests to actually verify if the code is working fine or not okay here you approve and package the product here you create a build artifact yeah. and then here you send it to a trial store here you deploy it to a development environment okay One, as soon as you test you package or build the code or build the artifact you develop you deploy into development environment manager approves for wide release in the supermarket here you your lead or um, your architect from your team manually provides approval before deploying to the production okay as soon as they approve the pro, uh, approval uh, as soon as they provide the approval it will be the code will be deployed to the production environment all right so this is a basic uh, difference between how a um, supermarket process can be compared with the azure devops pipeline process okay so now i hope you might get a better view uh, or you can visualize how this is actually happening which will actually make you understand how azure devops pipelines works all right so hope i hope you guys like this video for more interesting videos like this please subscribe and follow my channel thank you